Hello, my name is Andrew Morin, and for my SWOT analysis project, I decided to look at something a little more unique that Philadelphia has to offer, the Spruce Street Harbor Park. For this presentation, I really want to focus on the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats of the Harbor Park and give you kind of my wrap up and my opinion of the park itself. But first, I'd like to give you a little more background information. The Spruce Street Harbor Park is ranked one of the top urban beach destinations by the Huffington Post. Located on the Delaware River, situated in Penn's Landing, this park has been open since May of 2014. The park is open from May to September every single year and is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. The Spruce Street Harbor Park is a place to bring your family and to go relax, swing in hammocks, sit on Adirondack chairs and gaze out at the river view, or try different food. After learning some more about the background of the Harbor Park, I'd like to explain some of the strengths of what I saw when I was there. One of the major strengths about it is that it has free admission. Unlike many Philadelphia attractions, the Harbor Park provides a low fare alternative for a summer day. When we got down by the water, I noticed its rustic boardwalk. The boardwalk itself almost made you feel as if you were in an Atlantic Ocean beach town as opposed to walking along the Delaware River. On the boardwalk, it contains old shipping containers that contain different arcade games such as skee-ball and pinball to different food vendors and different beverage vendors. One of the major draws about the Harbor Park is the fact that it provides activities for all ages, from on the water activities such as yoga paddle boarding to swan paddle boating to on land yard game activities such as shuffleboard and bocce ball to activities for the young ones such as life size chess, life size Jenga, and life size Connect Four to retail savvy activities such as local artist pop up shops. The Harbor Park offers activities for everyone. Along with the activities, the Harbor Park offers diverse cuisine, ranging from its Chifa restaurant, which is a Peruvian-Chinese mix, to its Franklin Soda Fountain, which contains its world-famous Warship Ice Cream Sundae that comes in small shipping containers. The Harbor Park also offers craft beers for multiple different vendors, including its only its unique Lazy Hammock IPA by Yards Brewing Company. Lastly, the main reason people go to the Harbor Park is for the relaxation. The Harbor Park offers hammocks hanging from tree to tree, Adirondack chairs gazing out on the Delaware River, and a floating barge that contains many different beach chairs and a cargo net sitting. The Harbor Park offers a lot of different relaxing methods. Now since I've explained some of the strengths, I'd like to jump into the weaknesses of what I immediately saw on my visit at the Harbor Park. When we first got there, in order to kind of gauge our, gauge our surroundings, we walked around the whole park and it only took us about 15 minutes. Now, on its website, the Harbor Park explains it is a place where you can go and sit down and enjoy the environment. Well, one of the things we notice is that it doesn't have the amount of space for the amount of traffic that it garners. And secondly, one of our big draws was to go lay in a hammock and go hang out and make a day out of it. Well, when we got there, every single hammock was filled. We were there for about four hours and never once were able to sit in a hammock. We were, however, able to sit in a beach chair down by the river. But when I spoke to, with someone who had been a regular at the park, they told me that in order to get in the hammocks, you have to be there at 10 a.m. or have someone save them for you or wait multiple hours until you're finally able to get into it. The lack of space and the lack of hammocks kind of drew away from the, scenic, the scenery of the park and how nice the park itself actually was. And that was a major drawback. So now since you know some of the strengths and the weaknesses of the park, I'd really like to focus on some of the opportunities it has to improve. One of the major opportunities that I see is to expand the park. A lot of the area around Penn's Landing goes underutilized. And if they were able to use that land and expand this park, then they would be able to offer its guests more opportunities, more hammocks to actually hang out in, more Adirondack chairs to sit in, a much more pleasant environment than sitting around and waiting for someone to get up. 
Secondly, one of the things I noticed when we were in the park was that there was no live music. And I thought, what better place than that to have a live local band come and play? I think implementing a summer concert series would be a great idea, like seen in many other cities. If they had a summer concert series at the park, it would draw in new people. It would also distract the people who were sitting around waiting for a hammock because they would then just go and listen to some cover band or some sort of entertainment. Thirdly, I think one of the biggest things is to create a winter use for the park. The park itself is only open from May to September, and so for all the rest of the year, it's dead. If they were able to create a winter use and create some sort of holiday theme or some sort of unique attraction, they would then be able to generate extra revenue during those months that they could then use to improve during May through September, during its main peak times. Now, since you know about some of the opportunities the park has to expand, I'd like to explain some of it, the threats and risks that it faces. The first major threat is the fact that the park is in Philadelphia. When people go to Philadelphia, they're looking to go for the history or to go catch a Phillies game or an Eagles game or to go check out a museum or go see some sort of show or some play. People aren't necessarily going to Philadelphia to look for the Spruce Street Harbor Park. So with that being said, one of the big drawbacks for the Harbor Park is the fact that there's a lot of other attractions for people to go do. So maybe they take the Harbor Park as something they go, they go see once, check it off the bucket list and never come back to. Secondly, by only being open from May to September, the Harbor Park has a short fiscal year. If the Harbor Park has a bad year from May to September, then the park itself isn't generating a lot of revenue and that does poorly for its bottom line come the next year. Thirdly, the weather. Being an outdoor venue, that's one of the risks you have to take. But also with the limited availability, if there's a bad week or a bad few days, the park loses a lot of revenue that it could have gained on different food sales and things of that nature. So by having a short availability and by having to rely on good weather during the summer, the park itself subjects itself to a lot of risk. Now since I've explained the different strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that I've seen in the park, I'd like to give you my kind of conclusion on the park itself. The Spruce Street Harbor Park is a unique concept, and I think that's one of the biggest draws for me myself, was to see something like that. I've never seen a urban beach like the park itself. I think it's the ideal place for a nice summer day. Now that day may be a weekday. I think that on the weekend it garners way too much traffic for the amount of size that it currently has. So if I were to visit again, it would be on a weekday. I think that if it expands and implements some of the ideas that I have uh, provided, that the park itself will then become an even greater success. If it's able to accommodate the amount of people and allow them to actually experience what it advertises, then the park is somewhere that I would like to become a regular at because it is truly a nice place to spend a day and to go hang out on the river and enjoy a lot of different things that that part of Philadelphia has to offer.